Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. That little whiny guy down there is Popeye, and we are the RC <laughs> Sailors. Whoa! What an introduction. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you guys, this will be like the second or third time we've flown this. For one, because it's awesome, and two, because of this guy right here. After we do our little introduction, a little family friendly, oh, what a sweet family. He's gonna get put away so we can fly this for you guys. He's just been kind of crazy today. He's become a piranha. Like, the quadcopter, if it gets this high, he's like <laughs> It's pretty epic in slow motion, <laughs> but I wanna fly this for you. Now, it's got a funny name. It's called the H4816. It's right here. A good size little drone to fly outside or inside. See, Popeye? Oh, gotta eat it, gotta eat it. But it's a mouthful to say, so we'll have a link in the description box below for you. It's about $15, which I love because it comes in under 20 bucks. And I like the way it looks. I like the way it flies. I've already flown it. And has a pretty good flight time. Nice bright lights. Oh my, oh my I dropped it. It's just a really good little quad. No. The unique thing about it isn't just its looks, but the fact that its looks can change. You see these different colors here? Also the ones you saw on the thumbnail. I've got a green shell, a yellow shell, and a red shell. Now that's nice because if something would happen to the one that's on there, you've got replacement parts right out of the gate. But the really nice thing is if you buy two, three, or four of these, you can have all different colors, which is great right out of the box. And you can change the colors very easily. I'll show you guys how to do that after we fly a bit. So you get the quadcopter itself, super bright lights on there. The battery just tucks right into the back here and it's a one cell I think it's 250 milliamp LiPo battery. Very common connector on the battery, so it's not like it's proprietary or anything. Two huge thumbs up for that. And uh, I have a lot of these batteries. We buy them all the time for a good price, so I'll link some spare batteries in the description box below for you guys as well, because you're gonna want them. This is a good drone. It's kind of interesting the process we're taking because I've already flown this multiple times and I already know that it's good uh, while I'm telling you the stuff that comes in the box. You get a little bright orange USB charger. Popeye, you're crazy. It takes about a half hour or so to charge this and you're gonna get maybe close to eight to 10 minutes of flight time, depending on how you fly it. That's not bad, especially considering that charge time. Uh, talked about the shells. You do get four spare props, so that's really handy. Popeye. <laughs> and then the transmitter itself flies on three AAA batteries. I do wish that it were double A's, although that's just a personal little complaint. Nobody has any idea what you're saying. I know. <laughs> and uh, the transmitter feels really good. It's a nice, uh, it's got, I like the button layout. Flips are on the right, rates are on the left. You press and hold for headless mode. You press and hold for return to home. I like the layout a lot on this guy. So uh, I think we just need to get this in the air. Popeye, we are putting you away. I forgot to mention the instructions. They're legible, they get the job done, and it's worth at least taking a picture of the page with the transmitter on your phone, uh, or holding on to, just so you can refer back to that in case you forget what the buttons do. But again, I like the layout of this a lot. So I, I like this drone. I can tell you guys now, even though you haven't even seen it fly yet, and I think that you should probably check it out. It's very capable and a lot of fun. And a lot of times when we see something new, like these different colored shells, now this might, might not be the very first drone to ever do this. It's the first one that I can think of. Uh, a lot of times that's a cheap sales gimmick to get you to buy something. But in this case, it's not. It's just a bonus cherry on top. It's already a good drone, but now you got the shells on top. They also have a version with altitude hold. This one is non-altitude hold, so it's more fun to fly. And the one with altitude hold comes with a 0.3 megapixel camera. So pretty low quality camera, but for a few more dollars, you can get one with a camera. Get it in there. <laughs> it's a very snappy, very punchy little drone. I think this would be an awesome one to carry an FPV camera because you could trim off these little, I'll get it closer to you guys. You could trim off those little prop guards and the arms, and that would reduce a little bit of weight you could even fly without the shell if you wanted. And then yeah, this would be an amazing little FPV, like a 5.8 gigahertz FPV house racer type of thing. And for $15 to have all the different shells, these are awesome. 
it's basically made to carry a camera too because the other one is altitude hold with an FPV cam already built in or, or maybe just an action cam, I don't think it's FPV. So we have a nice bright red light on the back and on the front of the drone which you guys were just looking at yourselves was the white light and two green lights and then there's also a light inside the drone see how it looks like a nice bright blue drone that light is illuminating it there's one in there as well so when abby flies she'll pop on a different color and uh, it looks like a whole new drone just because of the, the cool light inside so let's test a few features out the flips on this guy are very good so we'll do a flip and show you doesn't really lose any altitude that was me so i'll <laughs> i need to show you another okay let's see so just hold the throttle nice and steady and we'll throw a flip at it and we don't lose any altitude if anything we gain some so great little flips handles them really well and then uh this is rate one so just do a little back and forth pitch and then we'll bump up to rate two you guys are gonna like rate three on this one here's rate two very fast very very capable of racing through your house or in your yard and then rate three is almost unflyable it's very snappy very very twitchy and the yaw is our awesome crazy fast yaw our disco here we have it oh yeah i love the yaw it's a lot of fun <laughs> but Where'd you go? <laughs> easier to fly inside in rate one. This could definitely handle light breezes outside as long as you knew what you were doing. Now it does also have, let's see, it has headless mode. So it beeps when we're in headless mode and it blinks. We can rotate and fly in any direction and it keeps its orientation really well. I noticed that the last time I flew this. The headless mode works, but the beeping is very annoying. You guys know me, I do not like when they constantly beep in headless mode. And then we're going to test return to home, which is why I'm flying it over here. And press and hold, and it's coming back to me. And I just killed the throttle. <laughs> and I think it's time because I've tested all the features on it. You've only um, flown it for like three I, minutes. Well, okay, I'll go a little bit more but I want you to fly it too. I always feel bad when I eat up all the batteries. So I'll fly just a little bit more. Oh, it's still in, it's still in return to home. Just gotta hold it. That should get it out of there. There we go. Yeah, just a lot of fun. We're in right two again. It's pretty zippy. It's super bright. Orientation on this thing is just so easy to see. That bright white light on the front and then you have the green lights that make it look pretty cool. And then we have the red light in the back. I really, really like the lights on this. And it's just very easy to fly. That's, I'm basically hands-free right now. Just a little, little bit of input. You can trim it up if it's starting to drift off in one direction. Like right now, it seems like it's going to the right a bit. So we trim it to the left. And let's see if that fixed it. Now it's going back some, so I need to trim it forward. See if we can get it to just hover in place. Oh yeah, perfect. That's perfect. It's barely moving at all. Look at that. I'm hands-free, non-altitude hold. That's a good drone. That's a very good drone. What I'll do now is show you guys a close shot of taking this canopy off and putting another one on, and then we'll let Abby fly. I want green. Green? Yep. You picked yellow the other day. Mm-mm. Yeah, you did. I want green. Okay. I like the yellow. It looked really good, but that's fine. We'll try. Oh, do you want me to do yellow? No, 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 no. That's okay. It's, I want that's green. Whatever color you want. I'm in a Grinch mood. Today. Oh, okay, Grinch. <laughs> so I find it easy to use a screwdriver to help pop this off. There might be an easier way to do this, but once you get it started, as long as you don't force the canopy off, it should pop off pretty easily. Got little tabs under the hood there, and then there's the little circuit board inside. This would be very easy to reshape this canopy or just mount even on top of this, that little flat space there. You could easily super glue some platform and put your FPV camera right up in the center. This would be a very, very good FPV mini whoop style platform. So what I'm doing is lining up these little, you got these little tabs here. 
those little sticks, you see, they line up into the frame and then you get the little tabs to line up on the outside of the frame and it just snaps in place. So you don't do this very often unless you want to, but it's pretty easy. You see, it only took me about a minute or so and we're completely new quadcopter now, ready to go. And Abby is gonna show off her skills to everybody. Look at this, when you plug it in, the lights make it look like a whole new quad. Oops, I didn't get that completely snapped on. There. All right. Good to go. Are we in rate one? Uh, should be in rate one. I am a rate one kind of person inside. Well. Skill level beginner with indoor quads. I yeah. know some of you all can relate to that. The thing about these rate one, you know, these, these indoor little quads, if they don't have altitude hold, they can feel kind of zippy because even though we have a good amount of space here to fly in, you're still physically limited and it feels more intimidating because you have a ceiling you can hit. When you're flying outside, the the worry goes away. You don't, you don't feel like you're gonna hit anything when you're flying in a big open field because you could punch it all the way up. Oh, where'd you go? There you go. It looks good. You could punch all the way up and you're never gonna hit anything, you know, when you're flying outside. You're doing good. Yeah, when I don't have the attack dog, when I get this low, coming to snap out of it. Yeah. That's one of the reasons, I, I know we said that in the beginning, we're re-filming because Popeye is crazy funny with these quadcopters and he loves to try to get them. That's just what he does. He really enjoys playing with them. I feel so bad that we're doing this well, without him, but... It's okay. We flew this a couple times, yeah, just, just for Popeye. We, we had the cameras going, but it was really just for Popeye because we weren't able to keep it. He just, he barked a lot and we couldn't really use that footage, so we thought we'd just reshoot this part without the little guy. What do you think now? I mean, I feel like you're doing really good with it. Yeah, um, I can fly when there's not an attack dog. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's great. This is a really good one to help you. Oh man, this isn't one that I can have a conversation in life. It's a really good quadcopter to help you with throttle management. I agree. Especially for inside. Well, I think even more, more than anything, this is a good one for people to mini whoop, put their FPV cam on and that would be a lot of fun. go to town. I mean, 15 bucks. Speaking of like mini whoop, if you have not seen already, our video, RCS Fest 2018, is happening mid-June, June 15th, 16th, and 17th. All RCs are welcome. However, if you want to fly, you do need to register as a pilot. That's quads, helis, planes. If you're flying, you need to register as a pilot. But anything on the ground, you can just register as a spectator. Yeah. But we are actually going to have, with the help of our friend Foamy Ninja, we're going to have some type of mini whoop, any type of micro quadcopter uh, little course for everybody. So I'm so excited. Yeah. Chad has been working super hard on that and it's just gonna be awesome to see it at our event. So uh, to help us out, make sure you pre-register. Low battery. And there's a low battery. We nice. get the blinking lights. I think you and I both agree that we really like this quad. The lights are super bright, it's oh, yeah. easy to control, it had a very good, healthy flight time. Powerful, punchy, zippy, but on the lower rates, it can be docile and beginner friendly. Right. The best part is under $20. Yeah. Yesterday's video, we had the two drones for the price of one. This drone, a quadcopter, whatever you want to call it, is so fun. I think you need to pick up four so you <laughs> and four of your friends can all fly together. It cool. will be crazy madness, but so much fun to fly this with your friends. Those and you good. can all have the different colors. That's just so fun. These are really good. Yeah, this this one impressed me for the price. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really, really happy because for a really long time, the only mini indoor quad that I liked was really the Fury BF36. And then lately we found a couple others that I like. This one is towards the top. 
I like this for indoor flying. This can help you get through winter. I highly recommend it. Guys, we'll have a link in the description box below. Again, go check out RCS Fest 2018. Register now and we cannot wait to see you guys there. If this is your first time to our channel, hit subscribe so you could keep having some RC fun with us. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!